Lovey. Now repeat it so I know you've got it straight. Okay. Now, when I write to you... Using your code book, mind you. Mm, I let one of these pigeons go. Right. And he comes winging straight over to my little watching post on the Ruby Island. Then I let one of my birds go, and he hightails it back to this coop. Right? Right. With love and kisses from yours truly. <laughs> Goodbye, Steve. Hey, and be careful, huh? Don't forget the right, man. Twice a day. Uh, once will be fine, love. You wouldn't want to run out of your airmail envelope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love those guys from Down Under. Yeah? Well, how about getting Down Under with this grease gun? <laughs> You're coming out going, what is all this? Pigeons. Steve and I are going to correspond. You're what? Bulletin from HQ, Lieutenant Morgan. Thank you, sailor. Uh, gather around, everybody. Oh, it, it seems there's been some security leak in the area. So until the task force leaves the harbor, there'll be a communication shutdown on Ranakai. No inter-island radio letters or package mail. Does it say anything about pigeons? <laughs> no, but if I were you, I'd stop my feathered courtship for a while. <laughs> Look, I I'm going over to supply. If you need me, just call. Big deal. My letters to my aunt are a threat to the war effort. I don't care. I'm going to write to Steve anyway. Look, love is wonderful, Roberta, but why stick your neck out now? He hasn't even left the island yet. I know, but I want to have a letter waiting for him when he gets there. Don't move a muscle. And I'll show you how a master huntsman gets a brace of geese with one shot. Are you kidding? You must be kidding. One gander at you and that low comedy outfit and the geese will laugh himself to death. Uh, nothing like a bit of levity to break the tension, eh? Whoop, whoop. Here they come, here they come, here they come, here they come, here they come. Drat. Missed. I should have brought my other gun. You should have brought your other hand. Those were Navy planes, our Navy. Oh, the war, always the war. <laughs> when they're geese, they go like this, see? <laughs> well, what do you know? One of them is actually falling. I got him, I got him, I got him. All right, boy, all right. Go fetch, go fetch. Boy, look at him go. Did it take him long to learn to do that? No, no, it's easy to train them when they're young. All right, boy, here you are, over here. Over here, boy, come on, come on. Uh, thank you, Beasley. Now, there you are, Chef. Get him out of those wet feathers and into a warm oven. Uh, make sure you get rid of all the buckshot. What buckshot? This clump died of old age. <laughs> look, sir. Sir, look. A another one. Get him while you're hot. <laughs> ha! Ha! Please, please, Beasley, Beasley, Beasley. That that's not a goose, that's a pigeon. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, you'll never have a better chance. I'm not sporting, Beasley. I never shoot a sitting ensign. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something on that bird's leg. Well, that's a carrier pigeon, sir. Yes? Uh, sir, look. Look, there's a message. Right, right. This perhaps will explain our security leak here. Here we are. C R I N C I K R I G O F R A G I F L A X. What do you suppose that means, Beasley? Well, I'm not sure. Let me think. Let me think. 
Yes, I've got it. I have got it. It's single crinkle flagaflex. Please, would you mind if I ask you a personal question? Oh, no, sir. Feel free. How old were you when you were dropped on your head for the very first time? <laughs> this is code, man. It's meant for somebody on this island, and that means espionage. Spies. Oh, this is big, sir. This is big, big, big. <laughs> do what any astute counter-espionage agent would do. Beasley, follow that bird. <laughs> Now then, are, are, are you ready, Beasley? Uh, let her go. <laughs> and he's up and away. Oh, what a beautiful start. <laughs> Moving easily, pacing himself. He banks to the left. Oh, oh, oh what a great Immelman turn. What a bird. I wish you could be here to see this, folks. <laughs> Beasley, will you stop with that colorful dialogue? Just tell me which way is the bird headed? Oh, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, oh, he, he, he's gone, sir. He, he just, he, he just disappeared behind the Waves barracks. Disappeared? You incompetent... <laughs> disappeared behind the Waves barracks? Did you say the Waves? Affirmative, sir. Uh, oh, oh, I, I know what you've got in mind. Uh, we'll go over and ask the Waves which way he went. No, not over. BZ, we're not going to ask the Waves anything. Come on down here, we'll pick up the chase. I can't, sir. The belt is stuck. Easy, that pigeon is going to get away. Now, you come down here, that's an order. Oh, oh. oh. oh good. I'm glad to see you didn't land on the soft spot. <laughs> Kowalski, would you wake McGuire in a half an hour and tell her permission was granted? I'll wake up myself, Lieutenant. Hey, hey, Roberta, there's some mail for you in the incoming coop. Oh, good, my first time. The brass said no mail. <laughs> There's a message on it. Come on, baby. Easy now. Come on, sweetheart. Here we go. Give me a paw. <laughs> What's it say? I don't know. It's in code. What well, then decode it. I can't. I don't have the code book. Well, where is it? Oh, don't worry. It's in a safe place. Come on. Beasley, you are my witness. Come. I must do my duty. Sir. Oh, sir. Sir, uh, what? sir, uh, uh, what, what duty is that, sir? Didn't you hear them? Code books, secret messages, I tell you, it's obvious. Those girls are Japanese spies. Spies? <laughs> the waves? Well, sir, surely you can't be serious. Yes, I suppose it is too much to hope for. Still, after what we've seen, I'd be remiss in my duty if I didn't investigate further. Besides, you can tell, it might lead to that firing squad I have on standby. <laughs> Japanese? Bwara! Well, I've heard of coffee breaks, but this is ridiculous. Sukiyaki? Oh, I'm just trying to keep my hand in, Lieutenant. See, this isn't allowed in Adrian's mess. He's even afraid of Japanese food. <laughs> we better start cooking. We've got a long night's work ahead of oh, us. Yeah, right. Now, I tell you what, Roberta, you start slicing the beef. And uh, Molly, you and Botsy start cutting up the vegetables. And I'll get a little fire going, and we'll be in business. What can I do? You just sit there, honey, and look beautiful. Couldn't you give me an easier assignment? <laughs> uh, uh, Lieutenant, could I trouble you for the wood, please? Oh, sure. You know, this all looks pretty complicated. Oh, no, no, it's, it's really uh, very simple. I took a course. See, the secret of a, of a really great sukiyaki is timing. See, everything has to finish cooking at exactly the same instant. <laughs> so that it goes right from the pan to your plate piping hot. <laughs> oh, um, would you cut those a little smaller, dear? <laughs> Stanley, where did you learn to do that 
karate. Oh, that, oh, it came with the course. <laughs> Did you see that, Marion? Well, I'll say this, it sure beats lugging an axe around. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sukiyaki was great. I almost forgot what Japanese food tastes like. Nothing like a home-cooked meal. Well, after this, it's gonna be murder to go back to Navy Chow. If we play our cards right, we won't have to. Right, girls? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know your hearts aren't in it, but we better get back to work. Miss <laughs> Beasley, I am going to slap Lieutenant Morgan and her whole treacherous group in irons right now. With any luck, we should be through here in an hour. Mary, we should get that big pan. On second thought, if you insist, I'll wait till after we get the code book. I insist. Good. <laughs> You know what to do? All right, Chief. Follow that pigeon. Intercept all messages coming and going. All right, Chief. And I know what to do if any of those birds gets out of line. And report to me here first thing in the morning. All right, Chief. <laughs> all right, Beasley. All right, all right. Get going. I, I guess you're right, sir. I, after all, it was only a 50 cent piece. <laughs> On your, uh, what's on your mind? Can we talk? Over there. I intercepted another message and sent out a phony. Good, let me have it. It won't do you much good. It's harder to pronounce than the first one. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, hey. Hello, hello. Uh, Adrian here. Hey, here. What? Well, I can't right now. I'm having lunch. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll come down. They want me down at the docks. Some of those eager beavers down there think we should run this war 24 hours a day. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. You know, if these wise guys keep it up, we'll liable to win. <laughs> Tim, keep that bird warm. All right. I'll throw a quilt on it. <laughs> Contact communications right away. It may be later than we think. <laughs> Hello, operator. This is Agent Beasley. Uh, uh, Ensign Beasley here. Get me communications on the double. And remember, operator, this is top secret, classified, top priority, and keep it under your hat stuff. <laughs> operator. Operator. Boy, they're working fast. They've already cut the wire. You're sitting on the phone, clown. <laughs> uh, uh, operator. Uh, op uh, uh, operator. Uh, uh, get, get me communications, please. Uh, hello, uh, communications. Uh, now get this, because I'm only going to go through it once. Get your top code man up here. It looks like we've uncovered the security leak. You can't. Oh, I see. Well, well all right, then I'll bring him over myself. <laughs> hey, uh, Junior, what's going on here? Sorry, Stanley. But at this stage of an espionage investigation, we are not allowed to divulge that one. Espionage? Oh, boy, you don't have to get so huffy about it. Somebody think I asked you to name it a spy. Who is it? Oh, no, you don't. My lips are sealed. But I will tell you this. When we spring our trap, they're going to be four mighty surprise girls. Yeah, girls? You mean the ways? Where'd you hear that? 
Well, let's just say it was a lucky guess. <laughs> Don't worry, you can trust me. Girls, huh? Where do you get your information? Let's just say, a little pigeon told us. <laughs> some doozies, but this is the doozy of all time. How did he ever get a crazy idea like this? I don't know. All Beasley said was a little pigeon told them. A little pigeon. Have you ever... A little pigeon? <laughs> you, you don't... You don't suppose it could have been one of my pigeons? Oh, of course not, Roberta. Radakai has become a big hobby center. Everybody's raising pigeons for fun and profit. <laughs> yeah, but I only wrote him two or three letters and he didn't even answer. He answered all right, but J. Edgar Adrian intercepted him. I guess you're going to fix my clock for me, huh, Lieutenant? Later, first I'm going to fix Adrian's wagon. I don't mind being accused of insubordination or malingering or incompetence, but imputing our patriotism, that's going just one step too far. He's going to pay for it. What do you have in mind, Lieutenant? I'm going to frame him before he frames us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, girl, go! <laughs> Roberta, get out some more of that pigeon stationery. We're going to let our little uh, counter spies intercept one more message. A very special message. <laughs> Commander. Commander, my pleasure. <laughs> Basically, I never can remember. Do the latitude lines go up and down or back and forth? Listen, there's no time for that, sir. I have intercepted another message. And this time, sir, the spies have made the big blunder. Blunder? Y yes, sir. Uh, they didn't even bother to put it in code. Look, it's in the clear. Yeah. Abandoned previous plan. Meet us near Old Bunker, North Beach, tonight, 20 hundred. And, and that's right here, sir. Ow. Uh, uh, by the way, sir, you don't happen to know where I can find a key for these handcuffs, do you? Uh, there, there isn't any. Map of submarine nets ready. Send and two men, countersign giant squid. P.S. Burn this. Send two men. That is absolutely fantastic, Beasley. How? Beasley, Beasley! <laughs> that was for the enemy. Oh, don't worry, sir. Listen, I made a lot of other copies. Well, but, but you see, here is my idea. When, uh, when, when I send the phony message, how about if I put tomorrow night? And that way, the waves will be waiting and nobody will show up. <laughs> see, a little of that Adrian quality is rubbing off. What do you call it, sir? Sadism. Uh, <laughs> that gives me an idea, Beasley. Oh, good old sir. What is well, we will send the phony message. Our little spies will not be disappointed. The rendezvous will be kept. By whom? Oh, uh, by me. Oh. And you. Oh. <laughs> That accent of yours is terrific. <laughs> Why, for a moment, I almost... No! <laughs> oh, sir, may I say that you are a, a credit to the Imperial Marines. I mean, sir, I mean, that uniform is, is, is you. <laughs> I'll accept that as a compliment to you. <laughs> but in heaven's name, have you done with the sleeve of that uniform? Well, I had to, sir, in order to get the briefcase through. The... <laughs> for your information, I paid a Marine $49.95 for that uniform. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but for your information, you ought to see my trench coat, and that cost my mother $89.50. Enough of this retail clothing chit-chat. Have you got everything clear? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, one, uh, keep my glasses on. Uh, two, keep my hat down. Three, stay in the shadows. And four, keep your mouth shut. And uh, do you remember what the countersign is? It is? Uh, 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 a giant squid. Right, right, right. And when Lieutenant Morgan puts the map of our submarine nets into my little Japanese hand, ha, ha! We've got them. We've got them. Well, I suppose we'd better be going, right? Oh. All right. Here we go. Well, I suppose we better wait to put these on until we get there. Oh. Oh, 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 sir. Oh, sir, 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 sir. Uh, I almost forgot. In, in, in case of capture, sir, take two of these. And we'll all be over like that. Well, what is it, poison? Oh, no, sir. Aspirin for one of your nervous headaches. Well, I'm getting one now, Beasley. Come along. Let's go. <laughs> oh, uh, Beasley, I'll be right with you. I almost forgot the mess.
complete, Lieutenant. Men, and they criticize women spies for never being on time. They could be lost. You know, Adrian's never left the base. You know, you're right. Give me the flashlight. I'll try to give him a little hint. <laughs> Well, Beasley, now where do you think we are? Well, one thing's for sure, sir. We're still on Ranakai. <laughs> oh, look, I, I see something. Give me the binoculars. <laughs> They're signaling these. Let's go. Study on. I see something off the starboard bow. Looks like somebody's signaling on North Beach. Let's ease up there and take a look. That ought to do it. That must be Adrian and Beasley now. It's a cinch they're not wearing sneakers. <laughs> Prefer to give me that beautiful map of the submarine nets. Now, you know what to do. Now you know what to do. Who goes there? Giant squid. Squirtle <laughs> squid. Uh, and, and giant squid. Advance and be recognized. Who? <laughs> oh. Ah, so you have map? Right here. Pour it. Not so close. Brace map on rock, please. Excuse Breeze. Must make sure map is collect. <laughs> How about map? Oh. Say. Dandy. <laughs> Sir, have you ever noticed how much... Ranakai Lagoon looks like Long Island Sound, see? There's something very strange about this. Oh, look, sir, it says, uh, see other sign. <clears throat> Commander, how could you? Signed your loyal waves. <laughs> oh, I see, sir, they're not Japanese spies after all. I know I could be happy about that, but I'm not. I'm sick. <laughs> all right, you nip, freeze, or we'll fire. We've got you covered. Lieutenant Morgan, that comes under the heading of rubbing it in. I said freeze. I'm warning you, we'll fire. Oh, knock it off. The game's over. Fire. Get on that water gun. They're, they're really firing. You, you could get us killed. Honest, sir, I didn't arrange for this. Have you had enough? Come on out of there. That's an insult. I am an American. Oh? Then tell me, who plays first base for the Brooklyn Dodgers? Well? <laughs> ask me a cooking question. Is that you, Adrian? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You see, that that's me. What's going on here? Well, what was going on uh, was... Well, well, it were... was a, a night problem. Isn't that right, sir? Yeah, that's right. That, that's exactly what it was. It was at night, and we were having a simulated Japanese infiltration. And, and you see, the waves here were playing the parts of the loyal American soldiers, and Beasley and myself and this Japanese soldier here were playing the parts of the enemy. Japanese soldier. 